So who's gonna win? Us or them? At this point, I don't know. So this is actual footage of our garden. As you can see, there's nothing left. We've been letting our laying hens out pretty much every day to roam free, which is a risk, but we're taking it because we want them to help us in fighting these guys. We got a couple of ducks because we heard they were really good for this particular problem. And I'm sure they're helping, but will it be enough? Our two baby fruit trees are at a huge risk. Almost no leaves left. They're making a comeback, but we've got them protected with this netting, and we're hoping that they survive this. We started off here with corn plants, squash plants, onions. None of it is left. It was all eaten. We've used diatomaceous earth. We, while the plants were still here, we sprinkled it on there daily in generous amounts. Everywhere we walk, they jump. Dozens and dozens of them jump in all directions everywhere we walk around here. There's so many of them. So what are we battling? Grasshoppers. I have never seen grasshoppers so bad in my life. There are so many of them. We are struggling to keep our fruit trees alive and our entire garden is lost. So if you guys have any tips on how to overcome an epic amount of grasshoppers we would love to know we'd like to keep it organic we're committed to keeping it organic <laughs> and that is where we're at right now so we're fighting let me know in the comments are you guys dealing with this i have a theory that it has something to do with the weather this last winter was pretty mild and it didn't get very cold for very long stretches and so we're thinking that it just didn't get cold enough to kill off a lot of larvae and eggs and so that's why there's so many but it is crazy. There are so many grasshoppers. So I'm really hoping that I will be filming an updated video on this journey and letting you know what kind of things did work against the grasshoppers. The chickens are eating tons of them. The ducks are eating them. My son set up grasshopper traps, which are just buckets filled with water so that they hop in there and drown. I like to think that, that the diatomaceous earth worked some. My husband has mowed as much as he can of all the brush and weeds to try to make it less of a good habitat for them to be in and yeah we're sad about the garden for sure we're really hoping the fruit trees make it so yes we'll keep you updated on what happens but that's where we're at right now we are in battle against so many grasshoppers so stay tuned and we'll let you know how this turns out in the meantime check out that description box to things that i've made for you guys things that we like to buy if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with anybody else you think would find it interesting or has some tips against grasshoppers that they can leave in the comments 
And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. We get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.